Yo, what's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about five different tips to help you get better automations in FL Studio. So let's get right into it. So the first tip that I got is automating multiple presets. For example, if I throw in a gross beat in here, and let's just go to the crank presets. There's a couple presets I like in here, like Basic 3 and Basic 7. I'll just get rid of this part of the Basic 7. Most people normally just automate one of these presets, but you can literally automate all of these within one automation clip. So I'm going to drag out an empty pattern to the length of where I want the automation to be. I'll just do 16 bars for right now, and we'll highlight that area in the playlist like so. Now, if we listen, this is what I'm going to try to do. You see how I can switch back and forth there? We can do that with as many presets as we want. So you see something like that. I liked this where we went from basic three to basic 10, back to basic three, and then to basic seven. So what we're gonna do is record that in. I wanna go up here to the recording button and let's right click it, make sure automation and notes is on, then left click to arm it. Now we can hit play and just do what I just did. Just click these presets as it's going through and it's gonna automate the changing of the presets. You see, so the first four bars is our automation there. I actually just sliced that out. I just went to the slicer by pressing C, then left clicked and dragged to slice that, those first four bars. Now I'm just gonna drag them over just like so. And now we have our automation. Since we're already highlighted in the playlist, what we should also do is automate the mix knob because you're gonna have to do this on most things just to tell FL Studio that we only want the effect to happen in certain spots. So we'll just bring the mix knob down, right click, create automation clip, and you'll just have to do something like this, where you can right click points in, bring the tension knob up, just to create something like that. And now we have our effect going. <laughs> the next tip is more of a gross beat tip, but it does really help with automation. So if we throw in gross beat, and go over here and go to momentary and throw on like a slow triplet. If we listen to it and like click somewhere else on the project or move something, sometimes it throws the gross beat out of sync. So to fix that, we're gonna go into the gross beat and down here there's the trig sync and POS sync. If we put them both on one beat, it should fix that issue. See, I was moving stuff around fine and nothing was getting out of sync. Another really cool tip for automation is this button right here. This is the multi-link to controllers button. This button right here has so many uses, especially for third party effects and plugins. You know, with FL Studio plugins like Fruity Love Filter, any of these knobs, I can right click link to controller or create an automation clip. Having that ability is built into every single FL Studio plugin and effect, but third party effect, like for example, I have this isotope vinyl here and say I wanna change the year up here because the year affects how the beat sounds if we listen. <laughs> So I want it to start on 1960, then go to 1970. To do that, I'm gonna click on the multi-link to controller button, and then I'm just going to click on 1970. And it noticed what I was doing. It recognized that parameter up here. Now I can right click this. So I could just straight up create an automation clip that lets me mess with the points and manipulate it that way. Or I could link it to a controller and manually manipulate it with a slider or a knob, which is what I wanna do. So I'm gonna link to controller and on my MIDI controller, I'll just move one of my sliders. And now it's linked and you can see it's moving through the years. So I can start it on 1960 and then move it up to 1970. This will allow us to create an automation clip manually, which we, like I said, we could have done it 
the other way by just straight up creating an automation clip but it's a little tedious putting in those points but rather do it this way so i can easily automate it and i'm going to show you how we can record it in we're going to highlight the area that we want this effect just these first eight bars and i'm going to put in an empty pattern so pattern three that's where the automation will sit once again, we want to go up here, right click and make sure notes and automation is on and then left click to arm it. And now we can just record it in. So since that plugin was now recognized by FL Studio, all of those parameters I messed with got recorded into that pattern. Now let's talk a little bit about editing automation clips that are like this. So if you want to edit some of these, like for example, this spin down that I put over here, it uh, I kind of messed it up and didn't put it exactly where it needs to be. It needs to be right at the start of the eighth bar. So what I'm going to do is I can actually double click this and I can choose which parameter I want to mess with up here. So I want to go to the spin down and what we're going to actually do is you can see it's bringing it up to the top and we just want to match that all the way over bar eight. just like so. Now automation clips like this where they have the points, it's the same thing, but it, it kind of has a little bit of its own uh, editor. If you double click it, you can pull it up and see you have a lot of options to mess with and you can really fine tune the clip so you can really zoom in here and do what you need to do and you can snap stuff down here with the bottom right turn the snap on that way when you move stuff around it's it's snapping on grid and not just going in random spots so you can manually go in here and add points add like dips and little bumps to depending on whatever it is like for example if this was an, a love filter you could add stuff like this and it would sway in and out of the automation and it could sound really cool. Down at the bottom right, if you click this pencil, that's the step editor and that allows you to just go in and do stuff like this. You can paint pretty much different variations into the automation clip. Now my last tip is properly deleting automation clips, okay? Because this can be a pain in the butt. Third party automation clips, we should be all right with just deleting the clip and then deleting the effect. See, there's no issues, but sometimes there are issues when you delete clips that you automated from the mix knob. For example, like this halftime right here. I have it automating the mix knob. And then when I delete this halftime and go into the mixer and try to reset this and then hit play. You can see it still brings it down to zero like the automation clip is there. Even if I delete halftime. Try to reset it. It still acts like it's being automated. So what we actually got to do is we have to delete the initialize control. You can just right click this and do delete initial value or you go into project current project initial control and then right under here will be the halftime or whatever effect you're automating there. Like I said, sometimes you don't need to do this, sometimes you do. But now when we hit reset, it actually stays there and we can add other effects and we don't have to worry about, you know, that headache dealing with automation clips. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video brought you some value and gave you some more insight on automation clips. If you got any questions about automation clips, let me know down below. And also if you need any samples, drum breaks, drum sounds, you can check out the vault sounds with the link in the description or the pinned comment. There's some really dope producers who create very high quality sounds. You can get a 20% discount using the code JFatty, so check that out. If this video brought you value, make sure you leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.